Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jimmy and in today's video, we're going to talk about two different topics today and they're both around different updates around Samsung phones. One of them is the Google Play system update. I got the brand new version. It just came today. This one is the April 1st patch. So it brings along with it a lot of new features. And one of them I was really excited for and I shared with you guys that we were getting it at some point. So at least today I can show you and let you know everything that's new with the Google Play system update. For some reason, the uh, April 1st security patch on my S25 series is eluding me. It's reaching other people, but not my device yet. Usually I get it pretty early. So I don't have that update to talk about just yet, but at least I have the Google Play system update for April. And then in yesterday's video, I shared with you guys that the rollout for Samsung One UI 7 was re-rolled back out again. The bugs are fixed. So this right here is the server version. This is the latest version of Samsung One UI 7. This is the update with all of the bugs to fix. So here is the brand new version and its size. Now, in yesterday's video, I mentioned that what happened was this phone over here, I updated it back on April 10th to Samsung One UI 7. The size was 5,375. It ended in BYCH. Now this newest one over here is actually a little bit smaller at 5,286 megabytes. And here is that latest version, BYD9. Now also in yesterday's video, I mentioned that because I already had the full version, that means that the latest update, which is this one sitting right here, is the one that is the hot fix to get it up to its latest update or latest version of One UI 7. So because I had it the first time and now I got it the second time for the hot fix, you can see that this size is 441 megabytes and again ends in BYD9. BYD9. So exactly what I said yesterday is exactly what happened. I got the original update first that brought the Samsung One UI 7 and then they pulled it. They came through and wanted to fix some bugs and then they sent out this hot fix. So I got this hot fix with this version right here, which is the exact same version that you see right here, but my size is much smaller. Just basically putting this one up to the speed of the new, like the new full latest release launch, bug fixed launch of One UI 7. I hope that kind of made sense. So I'm just gonna go through and I'm gonna install these ones. I'm gonna, you know, get it going. And then uh, this is where we're gonna talk about what is new in the Google Play system update. So that is all I wanted to cover. We have extensively covered Samsung One UI 7 on this channel. Uh, I don't even know how many more times I can talk about it, but I'm gonna have to. So just go back to any of my previous videos, just go to my channel and you'll see a ton of videos talking about Samsung One UI 7. So now that we got that one out of the way, now let's talk about this latest update of the Google Play system update. So this is the Galaxy S25 Ultra. I'm gonna go right inside of the gallery here and uh, I took a picture of it to see the size. So originally before this update, I was sitting on March 1st. Then I took a picture of this update here that was giving me that April 1st patch, which is 28 megabytes. So it's giving you the latest security updates from Google. Update now to keep safe and improve device stability. So that is exactly what I did. I went over into my settings. I went to the about phone and then I went to software information. And then here's my software information. This is where you can read about your Android security patch. And then this is where you can take a look at your Google Play system update. You can tap it and then you're able to get it installed. So now let's head over and let's talk about everything that's new with this update right there for April 1st. So I have it sitting right here. And what I can do is I can always place this below the video inside the description if you would like to read it as well. The Google Play system update, it updates a whole bunch of things for your Android, uh, like Google TV devices, your tablets, your phones, uh, Android Auto. Uh, you also have your Wear OS, Chrome OS. So there's a lot of stuff that goes on with it. You're getting a bunch of different new features. So here is what they're talking about for the month of April. And then I'll show you the one that I was mostly excited for. So you have developer services for the auto. So this is your vehicle. Updates to system management services that improve battery life, device storage, and network usage. There's another one for auto. And then when it comes down to your wallet, uh, you have it for phone and your wear, phone, phone, phone. So pretty much with this feature, you can add new types of cards to your watch through the Google Wallet app. Google Maps can now display transit passes stored in your Google Wallet for faster and easier use. 
Uh, this update improves experience in Google Wallet receipts, and this update improves experience in transit cards for Google Wallet in Australia. Now, this one is for uh, the Google Play Store. So for your phones, uh, with this update, you can now preview apps through videos shown in search results. You can now get the option to turn on promotional notifications during play, onboarding, and new devices. And then also for your phone, you'll now see updates from recent games you play in the search home page. Then you have your uh, system intelligence. So for your phone, uh, data storage updates, people who matter, and internal API changes, private compute services, uh, internal infrastructure and maintenance changes, Google Play services, uh, bug fixes for account management related services, now, if you scroll down just a little bit further, this is the one that I wanted to talk about. It's underneath security and privacy. Uh, this is where they enable a future optional security feature, which will automatically restart your device if locked for three consecutive days. So if we break this down just a little bit, it enables a future optional security feature. So it's not here just yet. Uh, once they add this little feature in, probably through Google Play Protect is my guess, uh, then we'll be able to have that option to turn it on again some people you know for uh their own liberties and privacies and stuff it's kind of up to them if they want to have it on or off so it's your choice if you want to have it on it is smart to turn it on because if you keep your phone on for three consecutive days um, and it's not being unlocked that means that it's probably just on that screen that you can unlock your phone with biometrics like your fingerprint your face your eyes stuff like that so if you reboot your phone, your biometrics is pretty much turned off because if you ever, if you remember, if you restart your phone, you reboot your phone, the first time it turns on, you have to put in your security password or PIN to get in. Also on that reboot, it encrypts a lot of different data that is on your phone. Now, once you unlock your phone and then you're into your device, some of that data is pretty much decrypted for you to have your fast usage pretty much. So this one is smart to have. I just don't see it just yet through the settings, but this is the one that we were waiting for for that Google Play system update for April 1st. Um, and that will give us this feature. So now that we have it, now we just need them to unlock that feature for us to toggle it on or off. So again, it is smart to uh, have your phone restart or reboot like once or twice a week for that reason, but also just because you have to give your phone a break. So my phone through the normal Samsung settings, it restarts at 3 a.m. on Sunday and as well as Wednesday. So this one's not really going to come into uh, a question for me. Um, but for some people that don't have that turned on, this is something that's good because someone could steal your phone. Then after three days of trying to get into your phone, boom, it reboots. And now it's even harder to get into your device. So this is where I was excited. And, uh, you know, and now we have all of these features right here. So there's a bunch of stuff that goes on with the April patch when it comes down to the Google Play system update. So that's everything that I wanted to share in today's video. Yes, here in the United States and a few other countries, you have the Samsung One UI 7 rolling out for several devices, especially, you know, the, uh, the Flip 6, the Fold 6, the Galaxy S24 series. Uh, this one got that full newest version of, you know, pretty much bug free. And then uh, some of the other devices that was also added in on this one. Let's see if I can find it. Uh, this one is also uh, expanding to the Galaxy S23 series, the S24 FE the Galaxy Tab S10 and the Galaxy Tab S9 series. So those devices, the ones I just showed off are getting this newest rollout update of One UI 7. So hopefully you guys have appreciated this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe. Subscribe on the very bottom left-hand side. And if you like this video, the more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later.